Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Sunday, May 4th. My name is Angela. And my name is Chris. And as most of you know, The Faux Show is not a real show. It is a social experience because I don't look at you. I look at the chat room, which I have here on my iPad. Oh, the chat room? I've got that full screen on my screen right there. It's over there in a monitor where we can see ourselves. Look, I'm pointing in a different direction. It's normally over there, or it was. But Doesn't matter. Too, too much explanation. It is built into <laughs> the best lower third. This lower third, by the way, exclusive to the faux show. I mean, others have copied this lower third, but nobody's got the jblive.tv chat room who have joined us on this Sunday morning right after the Linux Action Show for a live faux show. First faux show in the in JB1, first faux show after last. Yeah. It's that's the exciting. after last. It's the after last show, and it's a perfect episode to follow right after Linux Action Show because we are talking about Linux Action Show episode 300, Swagsies. Woo! And you guys have sent in a bunch of great pictures, so you know what that means. You know why these curtains are here. It's faux show awards time. Well, and actually, oh, that's not the right image. So it's actually faux show and tell. Oh, it's like because, it's like a new iteration of the Faux Show Awards. Yeah, because there's just there's so many submissions and so many great shots that it's really hard to give out individual awards yeah, yeah. for you know uniqueness. So we're breaking with format a little bit is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. It's the first show and tell. And I, I realized this last time we did uh, one of these for the Jupiter Broadcasting shirts. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So now... Um, there we go. It is the faux show and tell. See how I just marked it off? That that's the just cheap, cross that out. That's the cheap way to do it. I, well, except for it's on computer, so you did that on purpose. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, uh, no, I don't have that image. the 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 logo with oh. the awards and the the spiky thing that's yeah. that's flattened. So, oh. um, I so it was I you being lazy. I, mm. <laughs> 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 I'm not okay. All right. Okay, well, anyway. All right, okay. So I did still like have the awards in there, but just to be like, all these people did this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know? So with categories and and overall yes. themes and stuff right. like that. Right. Okay. Instead of individuals. Exactly. So, so where do we start, Andrews? Uh. Well, first we just we start with our faces. <laughs> oh, okay. There's us wearing last swag. There's us. Um. All of these pictures that are in this presentation are on our Instagram, um, Instagram forward slash Jupiter Broadcasting. Okay. Okay. So who does our what category does our first award go to? All these people what? have all the things. <laughs> all the things. Okay. And when I, when I say all the things, I mean they have the coin in the picture. Okay. They have their face in the picture. Okay. They have the shirt in the picture. Okay. They have their computer in the picture. That's what I was going to ask. And yeah. most of them have Jupiter Broadcasting up on that computer. Oh, nice. It's all the I, things. I love it when people do that. I love it. All there right. we go. Oh, okay. The first thing I'm not gonna lie that jumps out to me is that wizard hat. I'm not yeah, gonna right. Lie. I know. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> we have the exact same one. Um, didn't Murphy send it to yes, us? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hey, is Murphy here? I haven't seen him yet. I haven't either. I didn't. But I didn't see him. There's a lot of people. So, um, anyway, this quad monitor setup is. Really I really awesome. like that. And he's got some. He's got some. He's got unfilter going. He's got the Jupiter Broadcasting side up. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell what that other stuff is, but it looks cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we've got a server rack right up in this upper left one. Yeah, or that could be a network telco rack. Maybe not a oh, server yeah, rack. Oh yeah, sure. But yeah. Okay. Well, I went ahead and included it anyway. I like that. And then check these ones out. We've even got we've got a couple Allens representing. We've got the lower third representing in that bottom one. Um, you know which ones I like? The uh, ones that got a lady in them. I know because <laughs> we don't see a lot of those. I know. Well, and then this upper right one. Um, look at all that Jupiter Broadcasting there. Uh, I mean, that's ridiculous. He's got Last Live on there. He's got the faux show from that weekend on there, yep. and that BSD now on there, and and JupiterBroadcasting.com on his vertical monitor there. It's oh, look at the vertical monitor. That's cool. Right? And then is that the chat room behind on the on the I'm not sure. I'm not positive. But yeah, so pretty cool. And then you see the the laptop, uh the previous faux show awards is right there. Yep. Very nice. Nice touch on that one. I like yep. that. All right, Andrews. Oh, and then Casey. Nice. Casey Br Keller. Good job, Casey. He's got I see four squares, two of which have Jupiter Broadcasting in them. I mm -hmm. like that. Plus he's got the last three hundred shirt and the Jupiter Broadcasting hoodie. Yep. That guy's rocking it. <clears throat> all right. All these people. Got the next award? Have face shirts and coins. Okay. No awards. <laughs> right. Right. Well, awards is going to be hard for me to drop. Okay. Well, anyway. So I, I like this guy in the bottom. He's all like, yeah. I like the guy with the lion's mane. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> the lion's mane. That's some damn respectable hair. <laughs> From one hair master to another, let me tell you. Yep. And then uh, this guy in the upper left, with he... Yeah, he there's like there's two pictures on the internet of him that exist, and they're both selfies of him with Jupiter Broadcasting gear. Is he okay with them being in? The, well, he must. Yeah, he sent them yeah, in, right? Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> well, uh, he had good focus on the coin, too. Yeah. All right. Um, and then uh, more. We've got another lady friend. Another lady. And another epic beard. Check out that beard. Oh, I know. And uh, and long hair. A mane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Holding the coin up, too. Look at you guys, the selfie pros you are. I know, right? I almost had a selfie section, you know? <laughs> All these people do selfies, but, like, most of them are selfies, so it doesn't really work. And you know who that is? Yes, I do. That's Che Dean right there. Yeah, and he's got uh, Root Gamer. Uh, he rocks Root Gamer. And uh, they uh, also have themselves a brand new Weber barbecue chimney starter. I know. Oh, my gosh. They were cooking, like, hot dogs yeah. and stuff the other day. Yeah. I know. That's they so make good. me get out there and barbecue more. I know. I like that. Look, he's got two coins. Yep. Good for him. All right, uh, more coins here with shirts and faces and a coffee. Yep, I like that. Yeah, caffeine and Jupiter. Broadcasting. See where he's got. You see where he's got his coin. It almost pinned like a com badge from Star Trek. Oh man! I just got an idea oh, for new sway. I know, right? I was just gonna <laughs> say, like, we could totally like get holders for the yeah. pendant type holders for the different. Yeah. yeah, it's your last com badge. What <laughs> challenge coin wasn't weird enough for you? Now we got a com badge. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, all these people. Oh. Have eye coins. Oh, you know, okay, hold on. Before I know okay. I know what this is. Okay. So something that you guys we should have brought a coin so I could demonstrate. Something a lot of you guys did, which is pretty clever, but you weren't the only ones to think of it, was put the coin as like an eye patch mm-hmm. or like it's one of your eyes. A few folks did that, didn't they, Ange? All yep. those guys. <laughs> He's got two coins. Two <laughs> <laughs> you both yep. of them got two coins. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm not sure how they did that. I Honestly, I haven't I tried. tried. No, oh, I did. did you? Yeah. 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 It's hard, isn't yes. it? Because they're ginormous. You got to have big eye sockets. Yeah. So yeah. And I don't have big enough eye so sockets. So congrats on the big eye sockets. <laughs> yeah. Good job on your eye sockets, guys. <laughs> but yeah. And it was really funny because the, the center guy said, well, I thought I was being unique in, in sending a, a picture of me with a coin on my eye, but yeah. I, yeah. I checked. I took a look at the Instagram well, and saw that other people had already done it. And Lionhead <laughs> in the chat room says, "What's the problem? They just are supposed to stick." Uh, Lionhead, that means you need to take a shower. <laughs> yeah, I gotta take a shower. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next certificate of achievement goes to. <laughs> <laughs> All I know, you know, I should just change the format. So yeah, it just says show and tell up there. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> well, oh well. All of these people have. The face, their shirt, and a computer. Okay, okay. And, uh, you know, props for uh, the center guy. I cannot Kinda remember Kind of looks his a name. little bit. I could. I see hints of Alan Jude in that guy. If Alan Jude had a ponytail. <laughs> that's and funny. And liked Linux and yeah, Arch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's got an Arch sticker, so that's definitely not Alan Jude. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, and he has a Jupiter Broadcasting sticker, but it's black. So it's hard to see. I like that one in the bottom left. Just good angle, good coloring. I know, did, I know. And did you apply any filters to these? I did not, no. Yeah. Um, no, I lied. There's one, I think, that I applied to filter to just to brighten it up a little oh, bit. Oh, but dude up in the top left's got the monkey right? suit episode going. Yep. And then, of course, we see a little tech snap action in the far right. Yep. Isn't that awesome? Can't go wrong with that at it's all. It's so cool to see people have our shows up in there. It's neat to see. Selfies. The, yeah, well, it's <laughs> neat to see their setup for how they're watching us. Because oh, yeah, we never yeah. are able to picture that. Right. Like, you never know. Or or even, you know, obviously they watch last and tech snap. Yeah. You know, or like they're, yeah. they're yeah, showing right. that. Yeah, because they're wearing the last shirt but watching tech snap. Right. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> couple more got some raspberry pie got Another some more alan jude it looks like this guy's dual monitoring with alan and the yeah. chat room on the left cut himself off a little bit though that's oh cool. yeah that's fine that's cool you know faces uh the internet's not for all faces or whatever right yeah. you know he might yeah. not want some people have a there. better face for chat rooms uh and then <laughs> no, there's that's not what i meant <laughs> that is not <laughs> what i meant what your goal. jeez no <laughs> No, it's preference, not... <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, look, another vertical monitor. You know, and Yeah. I need to get a vertical monitor. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Is that okay? I mean, <laughs> can we just buy a vertical monitor real quick, right? <laughs> All right. Actually, it might that might fit better there. Doesn't that rotate? No? No, but you're right. This would fit better there. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. yeah. Huh. All right. All right. Next certificate of achievement goes to... <laughs> All these people. You know, if this, if this wasn't... A PDF instead of the actual... You change it right now, right? Uh, Yeah, I would. But you know, I always hate it when you change it during the show. I know. (laughs) (laughs) We could just stop. All right. So here are all the shirts and face submissions. Okay, I'm ready. And another lady friend. Another lady friend. And um, she's wearing a Jupiter Broadcasting shirt, so... You know she's OG cool. Fans for life. Yep, and there's (laughs) Mr. Ick, uh, producer for How To Linux. Yeah, okay, funny story there. And helper at Linux Fest Northwest and JB1. So I got a, um, I got tagged on Facebook by him 
And and he said, I don't always take a selfie, but when I do, it's for Angela. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like he's doing it just for you, too. He, Look at yeah, that expression. And he posted it on my wall. Nice. So all my all, all my your friends, friends and family, and family saw it, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably thinking, what? Why, Why is he doing that? She's for? married with children. What is she doing? <laughs> and then uh, just above me, holla, Mr. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. Where am I? There we go. Mr. Madjo. Madjo, right hands there. disappeared. Yeah, right into Madjo. Yeah, right. Madjo, can you give back my wife's hands, please? <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know what? I, I'm going to be honest with you, too. I like the way the white last one looks. Oh, I know. It's real clean. It's sharp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it is. I mean, the other ones look great, too. Yes. But yeah, the white. I'm, I'm wearing, the first time ever, I'm wearing the blue hoodie mm-hmm. today. And I brought one, too, but I decided to go gray. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Here's some more pictures. I like, uh, that's Q5Sys in the middle there. Yep. How and did you know? Uh, I think he showed it to me. Oh, okay. You could tell because he's the most mysterious one. <laughs> and like, you gotta you wonder, like, is there something wrong with him? Like, why is he always hiding? And he's a good looking dude with a mohawk. He's got a mohawk. <laughs> oh, I know. That was really surprising. Yeah. And I meant to specifically point it out to Dylan, but I don't know if he realized. Oh, Did you? Dylan, you know. I know. Yeah. Dylan would have loved to see the mohawk. Yeah. All right. I mean, who we else? had we had dinner with Q5, but I didn't point it out specifically. And yeah, and then this guy on the left, he applied his own filters. And it, it I don't was know like, what that light is. And then who's this on the far right? I don't remember who Oh, name. Andrews. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people, but yeah. I don't remember everybody's that's name. Cool. There were a lot of submissions. Yes, that's awesome. Um, here's some more. That's uh, Crush Bandicoot on the left there. Also a producer for How To Linux. Yep. And uh, this is the Linux Rocks one is great. Yeah, that is. You Will know, code for fish. He's got a prop in there. He's got Linux Rocks written on a whiteboard. That's probably, you yeah. know, getting a little physical action in there. That's good. And the little sign says, no tuna, please. <laughs> <laughs> Will code for fish, just not tuna fish. <laughs> All right, Andrews. Here's some more faces. This guy on the right. He does just the greatest pictures. Yeah. Um, his Jupiter Broadcasting picture uh, of his. Uh, really good. Yeah. He he really knows how to use lighting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. And He's he like, must have a studio or he something. He was a man that like his whole life, he didn't know this, but he has been prepping for the selfie generation that has taken over. <laughs> and he didn't even know it until all of a sudden 2014 hits. And he's like, oh, well, guess what? I'm really good at selfies. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right. Who do we got next? All right. Uh, oh. Jed. There's Jed. And Austin is there on the upper uh, upper middle. He he sent in like the best Jupiter Broadcasting um, shirt picture that, that you and I both really like. Yes, I remember. And then um, and then after that, he had requested one of the stickers and I sent him one of each because, oh, because so I liked nice. him so much. And uh, so, yeah. Very cool. I like the outdoorsy one, too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This person has the pinkest submission. The pinkest submission. Oh, wow. And he's a brony. He's a brony holding <laughs> the My Little Pony, and he looks like he's at a My Little Pony. Um, well, there's like Hello Kitty and Minnie Mouse, and just like he's in the girl section of, of some sort of like Claire's or. <laughs> yeah, and we emailed him and said, Hey, do you have a daughter? And he said, No, why do you ask? I'm <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. We didn't. <laughs> he, for all we know, he has a daughter, but that was like, like brave on him. Like, good on him for, like, being willing to take a picture there and then know that it's gonna, the whole internet's oh, going to see you it. you know, I know that he's like, oh, I should totally take a picture here. You right. know, <laughs> like, it's totally... Hey, okay, give me a picture. Give me a picture while I stand here. Yeah. yeah. You're probably right. You're probably <laughs> I haven't right. sent it in yet. <laughs> That's probably true. All right. All these people had fancy landscapes. Oh, I'm all in. I'm ready. Oh, this is great. I mean, this is... Fancy landscapes is... Oh. Starting with... Oops. <laughs> There's one spanking. Um, starting with upper left, we've got um, Chad Davis... Who is, has been a long-time uh, viewer, not call necessarily back. in the uh, chat room, I don't think. But. No, but that photo there is a callback to an old photo show where we showed the upside-down White House. Not even old. It was like a month or two ago. Yeah. And, and he's he, like, I, I can totally go there. And we're like, yeah, do it. And, and he did. <laughs> and he did with his last shirt. I mean, it's epic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he sent in a couple of pictures. If you guys haven't seen the episode of the photo show where we talked about the upside-down uh, White House, it was in one where we talked about landmarks uh, like uh, Stakes Across America or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah I the think stakes, so. The United Stakes of America. United Stakes of America. Yeah. yeah. Rick Hypedia will probably link it if he's not busy editing last. Uh, so that's an episode if you want to watch more about the Upside Down White House, which apparently is a thing that exists. And so he went there and took a picture in front of it for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then front and s- uh, the ups, uh, up center, the center top one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, that's like hieroglyph hieroglyphics or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I see and, that. And there's a cliff right there and he just had to get his picture On there. On the edge of the cliff. Yeah. So and his, then w- his wife took that picture. We got a beach shot. Yep, beach again shot. with no face. Yeah, and then uh, and then this guy going to like I think it was some sort of flight museum yep, or something. Yep. 
And then uh, this he, next. He's the hanging out with a statue, which yeah. is kind of great. Yeah. Actually, it's awesome. Like, hey, it would have been greater if he put a shirt on the statue. Oh my god! I mean, not to not to downplay your submission. It's great. And he would have had to have two it just, shirts. It would, yeah. It would, it just would have been really cool to be like, hey, uh, I'm wearing it the same thing. Me as and this my guy. bra. Me and <laughs> my bra. Yeah. <laughs> my, call, my call back st- to my bra. Bra. My statue bra. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, all these people are showing Linux action. Oh, okay. You see how I did that? Yes. Not Linux action show. Right. But showing Linux. Wait, hold action. on. Hold on. Let me see if I get it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are in action. Holy crap. Wow. Right? Like, okay. I love the expression <laughs> of the guy on the right. Like, I know. Stuff, okay, that... does he not remind you of Alan? Um, and no, by Alan, no. I mean A-L-A-N. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Lots of Alan. Yeah. And I did <clears throat> apply a filter to that one. And that one is so great. He's yeah. like- He's in midair. Yeah, midair. And then yeah. we've got playing the guitar. Rocking. And then we've got the, in the middle of a, gosh, I don't know, skateboarding, but he's flipping the board and, you know, landing the, on it. The guitar guy, again- and look at his hand. He's doing the yeah, rock, yeah, he is. rock on. But look at the guitar guy. Tell me that's not a main, right? That's I a know. lion's main. Actually, he's in, in this presentation twice. Well, with hair like that, oh, it should he should be. Oh, he was one of the guys with the eye coin. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. but but I really wanted to show the action shots, and, and that fit really well, so yeah. I included him Those twice. are great shots, you guys. Thank you very much. Yeah. Those are funny ones. I love <laughs> the humor. I know. <laughs> it's really my favorite. All right. Both of these people. Oh, Made epic black and white pictures. Hey, that's Lionhead. Well, he goes by he, Lionhead in the chat room. Wait, what? Appropriately named. Which one? The the guy with oh, the yes? head. Oh, yes. Oh, great. Guy in the middle right there. That's Lionhead in the chat room right now. Awesome. And I'm pretty sure he said that it was his first. Well, no, it must not be because Lionhead, he's submitted. Lionhead, since you're here. I mean, it, it, would you be able to do a remake of the faux show on your guitar? How cool would that? You know the dude, you know the faux show intro theme? Yeah. Just guitar riff that Oh, my that gosh. Out? That would be really cool. I know. I know that would be. You know, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Email Angela at JupiterBroadcasting.com. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. What do we got next? What do we got next? Okay. Um, both of these people, yeah. Epic black and whites. Yes. That's, that's the lighting one we were talking about. That is an incredible no, example. That's a different guy. Oh, it is? It is. Look, no beard. Oh, you're right. Another yeah. excellent lighting master. Yep. And then on the right is uh, the real awesome sauce. Oh, hey, real awesome sauce. Yep, I like who, your glasses, man. Look how hip he is. Oh, yeah. He's super hip. Man, I should get tips from him. He uh, he was going to come to Linux Fest, but, but something came up at the last minute. Well, if, if he would have showed up with glasses like that, he would have had a good time. Well, you know, he's the one that showed up at our house <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> to yeah. watch Linux Action Show Live. That well, was interesting. He, he could have watched it live at Linux Fest. I'm yeah. just saying. <laughs> I know, right? Well, so I entertained his mom <laughs> while he watched in the studio at at headquarters. Do you remember, didn't you guys talk about something? Everything. Yeah. Everything about him. <laughs> <laughs> so, all of these people. <laughs> all right. Have future last viewers. Oh, I like this. I know, right? Yeah. Ta da! Ah, the offspring. Yep. Look so at that one. Oh, that bottom middle, one's great. Yes, I know, right? Dad wearing the Jupiter Broadcasting shirt. Kids wearing the last. And these shirt. are my kids. Yeah. Last. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, b- newborn baby. That and newborn baby. While the baby's being born, he's wearing the last shirt. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. That is really cool. I, I see the kid there. I bet that's his laptop with Linux Mint on it. Yep. And then I love the. kid. I know. I almost cropped it out, but I'm like, he no. put that there on purpose. That's Linux Mint right there. Yeah. And over on the left, you got the kid, and he's got a guitar in the background too, wearing the last hoodie, and he's got time to grow into that hoodie too. Mm-hmm. That's, that's cool. a girl, I think. All right. Well, she then. I can't see. I'm, I am sitting from over here. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure, actually. I thought I saw hair. Yeah, I know. Um, all right. Oh, we got more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, I believe that's I Am Icon's daughter uh, on the right. Widow Offspring. And then uh, I can't remember. Those are good ones, though. Yeah. The really mommy the wearing ones. the last shirt there. Yep. That's great. Daddy wearing the last shirt. That's too awesome. And there we go. Nice one, guys. And I'm really surprised. Look how well that fits him. Very well. Look right? at a nice neighborhood and that we is. Don't have <laughs> and we don't have um, like kid sizes. Teespring doesn't have kids. Icon says, yes, that's my daughter. Yep. Good. Mm-hmm. I knew it. So I Am Icon was at Linux Fest. Well, I Am Icon, uh, I'm sure we said hi then. I, I think, think so. I did at least. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I Basically, see, what happened at Linux Fest, a lot of people introduced, said hi to me with their actual name. Oh, I know. Which did no good. Yeah, well, see, what I did is I saw their actual name on the badge. I'm like, I know that person. And then I looked up in my email. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's because, clever. Because because it's the faux show and I get submissions a lot, you know, I can I can cross-reference Nick's yeah. with real names. Yeah, that, so. that was pretty clever. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad, Imacon, you made it and uh, your daughter is adorable. 
So yep, and he might bring her next year. Should I want to bring Dylan next year? Yeah, I know you do. All right, all right. Next certificate of achievement goes to all these people for just the coins. Just sent in the coins. Oh, but some good. Oh, okay. Now, yeah. uh, I can't remember that far one on the left, but I think yeah. it's like Scotland. Oh, I you know, honestly, I don't remember, but yeah. it is a great picture. Yeah, so that's the picture you of the last coin in Scotland. You guys astound me with some of your artistry. I like the one with the leather-bound book, too. That's really nice. Do you, do you recognize that, it? Is that Seth? It is. That's it's awesome. Vegas Rider. Um, that's a custom... Uh, journal that he's made and uh, which we have here in the studio now well that's, Although that's not th- our yeah version, no but, but he made one for us yep. as a uh, guest book yeah for people for to here. sign when they come here yeah and it's really nice it's a leather bound uh, book with blank pages and the inside's got some decoration on it it's really well done and it's and it has jb carved into it yep yep and he's, so he's got well i'm glad he has one for himself with the coins really <laughs> yeah cool. all right oh, here's wow. some more coins just the coins. The coins, I think, were a hit. What do you think? Yeah. Well, um, bottom left there, I believe, is uh, the real awesome sauces. That's a nice shot. Yeah. Well, he, you know, he's a photographer. He's fancy. Yeah. He's definitely fancy. And I like, I like the uh, the reflective stuff put yeah. in this bottom one. And yeah. then, of course, I love that that they did it while standing. That's on the, a good trick. Yep. Very cool. And then we've got some like just out of the package and still in the little baggie that they came oh, in. Yeah. And then I'm going to keep this slip in my in that, pocket. Slip it in the pocket. <laughs> They're all great pictures. Well, you know, everybody that presented a last coin at Linux Fest Northwest got a special sticker. Yes, they did. That was cool. Mm-hmm. Here's there, some more. Yeah, there's there's one last coin watching the last. Yep. <laughs> That's last lastception right there. <laughs> it's a last instead of last inside of last. Yeah. And now being shown on a foe. Yep. <laughs> After <laughs> last. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. I uh, feel like there's a title there. Yeah. All right. Both of these oh people. Oh, my gosh. Odyssey Westra lost his coin. Odyssey, you should have said oh. something Linux Fest. I had extra coins. Yeah. Yeah. Um, All right, Ange. All these people? Both of these people. Uh, both of these people. Have animals. We've got Mr. Goats Live. Yes. Yes, we do. There I, with his goats. You can go to goatslive.com. And it uh, goes by Goats Herder in the uh, Jupiter Broadcasting chat room. Goat Herder, yep. Goat Herder. And what I say? Goats Herder. Oh, I added an S. I'm yeah. such a jerk with my S's. <laughs> uh, and also creator of an epic uh, Jupiter Broadcasting metal sign. That, Not uh, an epic. The epic. <laughs> which we now have mounted in our studio. And also, not just that, but also a really nice plate because it's a duplex unit, so there's an A and a B side. Mm-hmm. And so we have a great plate that uh, people are able to use that. And I just said, look for the Jupiter Broadcasting plate. That's the side you go to mm-hmm. after Linux Fest. When people showed up here at the studio, they knew yep. right where to go. And that was a big thanks to- You have a picture of it mounted there. Oh, I do? Yep, up one. Up right. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's the sign mounted right there. On that's, the our, that's our Instagram. Go to Instagram.com forward slash Jupiter Broadcasting. You'll yep. see everything there from studio, uh, like in process and finished and um, any shirts that, that people wore or, yep, our kids <laughs> in the process. Yep. No, not our kids in the process. Um, <laughs> what? Yeah. No. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. But it is a really cool sign. So that's that's Goats Live right there, rocking his goats, wearing the last... Yep. 300 shirt. It's awesome. And, and a rat. A rat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, man, rats like coins too. It's great. It's very unique. All right, Andrews. All right. All these people submitted just the shirts and coins. Oh, okay. Okay. I like this guy here with the, he's got, first of all, tucks on a steering wheel. So he's put a tuck sticker yes, on a steering wheel. I know, right? Yeah, I am and driving then, Linux. <laughs> like I picture like these guys uh, open up their mailbox and he or she was like, this is so awesome. I've got to break it open right now and take a picture. Oh, I know, right? That's yeah. what I picture. Oh, what is this? It's, it's got to be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, at least I hope. That's what I try, That's what I tell myself. So, they, But I think this middle one where the yeah. uh, last logo is out of focus and and they got a little depth of field going with the coin. Yep. I got to tell you, I think that one was a little staged, the but I like standing. it a lot. Well, of course it was. It's good looking though. Yeah. We got more. And there's some more. Look oh, at this guy in the upper coins. right. Three yep. coins, three shirts. Yep. And uh, look at that with a Google phone. With, he got those the same with the day. Nexus. Oh, yeah. that's a big day. Yeah, yeah, he was excited. And then that bottom one, I don't know if you recognize that rocket, that blue rocket. I do. It is from um, Benathon, er, at Benathon on Twitter. Who made us a very cool 3D printed sign. There we go. And it is now uh, going to, well, at least pre- presently plan to go above my office door. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, and he made himself a rocket, too. 
Just a standalone rocket. I think that might be that rocket. Oh, before he placed it. I think so. Oh, maybe. Yeah, but I'm not positive. Well, thank you, Benathon, for making us a 3D printed sign. It's our first 3D printed uh, decoration. Yeah, it's really cool. One of many. Watch out. 3D <laughs> printing's going to take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, this person did it right. This is a person that's going after my own heart. It's exactly how I would have done it. Shirts and, well, shirt and coin and beer. Nice. Ta-da. Very oh, shirts nice. and coins, yeah. Yeah, yeah. coins two, two uh, with coins. beer. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Awesome. That is, he would have had three coins, but Oops. Uh, you might not know this, but in some locations you can pay for your beer with the last coin. So he probably <laughs> paid for his beer with the last coin. No. No. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> what, me? No, no. <laughs> Both right. these people. Both these people submitted just shirts. Just the shirt. And well, in, a shirt. In, in a crotch. <laughs> okay. But okay. Well, there is a crotch. That's that's something. All right. <laughs> well, Andrews, before we go to our next one, I want to stop and thank our sponsor this week, and that is the awesome folks at Ting. Go to foe.ting.com to get started. Uh, that's what That'll take $25 off your first month of service and $25. If you've already got a phone, that's going to take $25 off your first month of service. $25 if you don't and right off your first phone. Here's what I love about Ting. And Andrews, tell me if I'm wrong. True or fact? True or false? True or fact? True or false? My cell phone bill would have been around one hundred and forty dollars per month had I stayed with Ting. True or false? Had you stayed with Ting? Or I have had I not <laughs> switched to Ting? Correct. One hundred and forty dollars. Now, if I am like one of these people who's maybe trying to figure out what kind of thing Ting is, it is mobile that makes sense. Oh, look at you right there! Oh yeah, no, Boom. I got it. Now. You got it's, it now. You it's not pro. mobile on the go. It's no. mobile that makes sense. <laughs> and here's what I want you to do: go over to fo.ting.com and try out their savings calculator. So let's plug this in. We'll do we'll do Chris's actual bill here. Uh, so what what should I do? Minutes use about five hundred. Yeah. Okay. Uh, text messages about two hundred because I we're yeah. using Viber a lot, so I don't get yeah. a lot of text messages. In fact, yep. In fact, now with Viber, I'd say I've cut that in half. I'd say it's a hundred. Okay. Uh, megabytes, a gig. Uh, at least, yeah. So no. should it maybe do like fifteen hundred just to be safe? All right, I'll do fifteen hundred megabytes, and then you said it's hundred and forty bones. Yep. Bones. I'm calculating savings. Now, here's what's great about Ting. You only pay for what you use. Holy moly. They take your messages, your megabytes, and your minutes. They add them all up at the end of the month. Whatever bucket you fall into, that's what you pay. It's $6 flat, and then just your usage on top of that. Now, you can see over two years, I'll be saving $2,232 by switching to Ting. Go over to foe.ting.com. That lets them know you heard about it here on this show. That also is the spot where you'll find the savings calculator. You can plug your stuff in. On average, I'm saving $93 a month. That's almost a freaking Amazon Fire TV every single month. (laughs) Yeah, or it's, yeah, it's a lot of things. It's money in my savings. It's money I can put towards other gadgets. It's really just figuring out where mobile fits in my life and the value I should assign to that and then moving on it. And that's what I love about Ting+. Plus. Excellent customer service. No hold customer service when you call them at one eight five five ting ftw anytime between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern time. A real Canadian will answer the phone, and they will help you solve your problem. They are actually empowered to fix the problem. They don't have to transfer you to somebody else, and they often pick up on the first couple of rings. Fo.ting.com, and good news. If you got a Galaxy S4 from Samsung or the HTC One, which HTC One is incredible, you can now <laughs> bring that over to the Ting network. they got a whole class of devices you can bring and the HTC one is one of them so if you go to foe.ting.com and you have an HTC one you'll save $25 off your first month of service that'll probably pay for your first month like it did mine or if you've got the s4 you can bring them right over and here's the great thing about ting no overages no penalties and no contracts so there's no early termination fee if you decide you need to move somewhere else and ting's going to help you get out of your contract if you're currently stuck in a contract that has an etf you go to ting.com slash etf and they'll pay up to 75 dollars per line that you have to cancel to move over to ting when you combine that with the monthly savings that's getting nuts guys that's getting really nuts and the great part is it's just what you use. So one month, if you have a heavy month, like Comcast goes out on you for a day and Alan arrives in town and all of a sudden you have two shows <laughs> to prepare for and right. your Comcast connection is out, not that that would ever happen. <laughs> but if that were to happen, you don't have to stress out that you're going to go over your monthly allowable data usage that one day. You're just going to pay for what you use. And that's why I really like it. Fo.ting.com. See what I've been talking about. It's truly and completely contract free with no early termination fees or other BS. And every Ting plan Includes hotspot, tethering, caller ID, picture messaging, all that good stuff. In fact, 
If you go over to the Ting page, you can see they have hotspot devices. You could grab one of these hotspot devices, and they have tri-band LTE devices. They have feature phones. They have home connect packages that increase your connect your uh, signal at your home. But the one I really want to kind of point your attention to, if I was going to buy a hotspot today, in fact, <laughs> I might talk about this with Ange more <laughs> off air. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that sounds like. Netgear is. Zing. It's a tri band LTE wireless hotspot in your pocket <laughs> for $6 a month. That's all you're paying. You're just, it's a flat wow. $6 plus your usage. So if you don't use it once but for one month, you don't use it that much, you're not paying into a big flat contract rate. Like uh, $40 a month, which is typical for uh, yeah. contracted carriers. Yeah. And you get the tri band LTE, uh, which is available in more and more areas. They've been rolling this out. They, they've been rolling out tri band all over the place. $6 hotspot. Once you buy that Netgear Zing, that's just a great way to know wherever you're going to go, you're going to have internet connectivity. And I think if you're somebody like me who travels in bursts, this is perfect. Perfect. But even if you're somebody who's on the road all the time, you know you're only paying for what you use. And I think that's really awesome. Plus, it has that OLED screen so you can get your signal and battery info and all that. They got all, so they got great phones. They got great devices. Fo.ting.com. And a really big thank you to Ting for sponsoring the Fo Show. Now it's my turn. <laughs> um, and we even have Rakai on the plan now. Mm -hmm. And it's less than $50 a month. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, everybody in the mobile industry is eventually going to have to respond to what the, the kind of disruption that Ting is bringing. Mm -hmm. And I don't even say that lightly. Like they are literally just, once consumers get Ting, the other guys seem so old, so busted. You'd never go back to it. Mm -hmm. And you know, like, there's some companies that are kind of watching and trying to emulate right now, but I hope it spreads to the rest of the industry because they're really cleaning it up. And you can help move the needle by going to foe.ting.com. Woo! All right, Anders, what do we got next? All right, both of these people, speaking of sponsors, <laughs> hey -oh. support our sponsors. Oh! There we that. go. That's yeah. perfect. <laughs> yeah. So here's somebody that bought a System76 laptop and somebody that is now rocking, on Ting. Rocking Ting with his HTC One. Yep. And you know what he's doing right now? He's enjoying the amazing speakers on the HTC One while he listens to podcasts. Because let me tell you, the Ting, the, the HTC One on Ting is the perfect podcast machine. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rikai has the HTC One now. Mm -hmm. And he, he'll have his phone in the other room. And it still has better speakers than the Nexus 5. Wow. From the other room. Wow. He has better speakers on his phone than I have on my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, wow. It's really good. And so if you're using Nav or if you're listening to podcasts or audiobooks, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. uh, and you listen to a lot of music on your phone. I do. You would like that too. Yep. yep. All right. What do we got Although, next? does it work when you use, or I mean, does, is it, what's the quality difference if you're using headphones? Does it matter? Well, then it just depends on the headphones. Yeah, because it's okay. got, I mean, it's got just regular sound out too, but the speakers okay. on the HTC One are really good. Okay. It's got Beats Audio, but that's that part's a gimmick, but it really does sound good. All right, next certificate of achievement goes to. All right, this is actually the last one. <gasps> oh my gosh. I know, I know, right? Well, first, let me just say. I'm having so much fun. You can still submit your pictures. Um, I am going to um, take all the pictures on the Instagram, and I'm going to uh, go to Princegram. That's with a P in front. And um, What about Penisgram? <laughs> and uh, print out this big poster of 120 pictures for both the Jupiter Broadcasting shirt submissions and the last shirt submissions. So and we're going to hang those pictures where? Here at the studio. The new studio. It's going to be part of our decorations. Yep. So if you want to um, get your picture on there, submit your picture, you can email it to Angela at jupiterbroadcasting.com. Now, do you want to see what this person did to beat all? All submissions of submissions? So this person beats all other submissions? That's a pretty kind big of. declaration. Do you know why? I'm ready. Show me. It's negative in the freedom dimension. Oh, he's got a picture with Richard Stallman. RMS. Look at that. What's up? <laughs> and that was submitted like just a couple days after people started receiving their shirts. So I was surprised that this guy even had it for whatever event he was going to. So he was one of the first you got a picture from? But um, yeah, one of the first couple. Yeah. So. Yeah, I remember I had just woken up and I checked my email in bed and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he did this. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Great. That and is awesome. Yeah. Apparently there was there was some smirking that happened about, you know, his shirt, but he, You shouldn't support that show. He he agreed to take the picture. Which I wouldn't is support awesome. that show. I, I don't think you should support that show. Did it go something like that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it might have gone a little something like that. But actually. yeah. So that I mean 
really that is, is pretty that right? awesome that is pretty great i'm glad he got a shot of that yep and then uh so the jupiter signal hasn't come out this year yet <laughs> <laughs> i like how you start with that um so go sign up for our newsletter that we haven't emailed out for a while yeah but that that just uh, goes to show obviously you haven't received emails from me i'm not gonna you we're know spam use your, yeah we're not gonna use your email address for no. spam or anything um you sign up yourself at bit.ly forward slash jupiter signal and uh and then once i do send one out <laughs> yeah and you will get it we're gonna do so like for example if at some point here at Jupiter Broadcasting, we were going to go on the road more often and go to more events, one of the ways you'd probably find out about where we're going to be at and when is through the Jupiter Signal. Or yep. let's say we have something going on we want you guys to know about. Like, Jupiter Signal. Like a show hitting its 100th episode. Or a new show that might be launching in the near future. Jupiter Signal. Or our faces. <laughs> Jupiter Signal. <laughs> <laughs> That was epic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, I will be sending one out soon because there is so much to cover and so much to provide to you guys. Yeah. Um, so go over to bit.ly slash Jupiter Signal and sign up and then you'll get the next one. Yep. Speaking of next one. Speaking of next one. So the next faux show awards, not show and tell, but faux show awards will be, or well, at least at this point I'm he- I'm estimating it's it will s- be. Hange, Hange. It's a soft target. <laughs> it's a soft target. Uh, June 1st. Okay. Okay. On June first, I think you're gonna really like this. I'm I ready. Think, I think the audience is gonna really like. My this. body is ready. Wait, go back to my face. Okay, your face. Do you see these? Yeah, those are your buns. For those of you that are watching live for the first time, or are watching this for the first time, these are called faux show buns. Faux buns. And I have, um, gosh, the anyway, um, I have worn these in every episode except for like two for about three years, and it started because of our. Uh, IRC troll Mini Nessie. He suggested I do Princess Leia buns. I tried it. It looked really horrible. And uh, and then I modified it. And it's just kind of been the, the, the style. Since where, where are we going with this? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I just realized, <laughs> yeah, you don't know. All right. But so this is this is an icon. This is, this, this is the faux show hair, official hair. So I want to see your faux show hair. Wow. We want to see your best take at faux show buns. On, oh my gosh. Are on you, you, on someone else or someone you know, <laughs> on a pet, whatever. Oh. On a statue. On a, br- I don't on care. a sister, on a wife, on a I husband with long yeah. hair, a boyfriend, a guy. Yep. You know, uh, uh, the lion, the lion man guy, I think he could pull off the faux. We had a couple of pictures of guys that could pull off the faux buns. Yes. Yeah. So, um,. Uh, yeah, the buns look like free BSD horns. Yeah, I actually have BSD horns in my car around my gear shifter. <laughs> That's what um, she said. <laughs> so anyway, I really, I'm really going to look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. It, there's not, you know, it really doesn't take that much effort. You just, you know, take a picture, email it into Angela at JupiterBroadcast.com. Um, you can post it on a social site and tag me, but if you could also email it, because before the um, awards, the day before, I email you saying, hey, you've won an award for your submission, please, you know. Tune in. Yeah, tune So you in. know, hey. Or if you want to watch hey, it live. Hey, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't do that. But anyway, and that way I um, I also don't miss your your oh, submission. Yeah. So, yes, please let me see your faux show hair. And uh, will you be posting them as people send them into the Instagram or are you going to hold on to them? Ooh, I haven't thought about whether or not I want to put them on the Instagram right. or, or maybe not. Maybe you could put a few on there for teasers to let people know it's coming. Yeah, maybe. <coughs> yeah, if, if you would uh, be okay with me using your image for a teaser, just say that in the email. Like, please use this as a teaser. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah we, I think this is going to be a fun one. I don't know how... Yeah. I, I, we probably won't get enough people to do it, so if you're even slightly inclined to do it, you should step up because I don't know how many other folks are going to do it. And it doesn't, it doesn't have to be hair. I mean, get some gift bows or something. And oh, I thought you were eight. going a different direction. What? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. I'll leave that to the imagination of the <laughs> PC Wiz says, well, that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> hey, now, and all I know is that I had a $400,000 charge on my credit card for a faux show graphic this week. Are we going to do a faux show mail sack? Because we spent a bunch no, of money on it. No, I have it here. Oh, the Jupiter mail uh, I have it here. But Jupiter I, mail uh, I don't actually. Um, okay, I, mean, I got I, I to go then because I got to dispute no, this charge on my credit card because I mean, we paid a studio to produce that graphic for us. <laughs> this whole show was a mail sack. Every single one of these yeah, submissions, that's true. That's you know. True. Yeah. So, um, and if for whatever reason I missed your shirt, um, I I combed over the Instagram like three times and I checked my email. Um, Just checking it twice. I have you know every picture that I put in here tagged. Every picture that was sent to me or on a social network, I I pulled off and put it in a folder on my desktop. So Gonna I literally like out. had. Every single picture involved. So who's um, naughty or nice? 
Hopefully I didn't miss you. All right. If you'd like to get a hold of Angela, if you'd like to send a note into the Faux Show so you can be in a future Faux Show mail sack, go over to jupiterbroadcasting.com slash contact and then put in your name, your email address, and then be sure you choose Faux Show from the drop down. And that and it way goes to me. it goes to the correct location. We have robots that have been programmed using binary. Yeah, it's new. It's brand new. We use just raw binary, ones and zeros. You should look it up. And if you don't select the show from the drop down, then the ones or the zeros aren't entered and the robots don't know what to do with it. Please don't make the robots cry. Choose okay. the right show from the drop down. Okay, so Goat Herder says Molly the Goat will do it. Yes, <laughs> I would love that, Goat Herder. I would love that. Yay! Yes, that'd be very good. <laughs> that would be so awesome. So, All right, yeah. send your pictures into Angela at JupiterBroadcasting.com. We want to see them. You can also choose the photo from the drop down and choose. You can you see you can attach a file. Mm -hmm. So right there, if you wanted to just like, hey, you know what I want to do? Attach a file. You could do it. You know what else? Some kind of internet magic. Another reason to sign up for the newsletter is I'm pretty sure that I'm going to put um, a uh, one of those Google Forms up where people can sign up for uh, a copy of the Linux Fest Northwest sticker because we have some left over. Oh. Yeah. So uh, people that didn't come but like the sticker. That would be linked in a future newsletter? In a future newsletter. Where I would go to bit.ly slash Signal to get yes. that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Yep. All it, right, Andrew. So that's it for this episode of The Faux Show. It was a big one. Um, and uh, uh, we hope you liked it. First one from JB1, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we will see you next week. Don't forget, you can catch recent episodes of The Faux Show on jupiterbroadcasting.com slash faux show. Also, get them on demand in the iTunes store. Search for faux show. Okay, Miss Jers, okay. I'm totes ready whenever you are. Try not to hit the table. Um, and every time you hit the table, it means I get to spank you later for every, every time. All right. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> 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 boob height. Yeah, you guys are familiar with that. It's where uh, what a woman does is she sort of tucks the boobs in and then uses that to boost herself up. So she, it's almost like she's sitting on them. It takes years of stretching. Yeah, watch this. <sighs> see? Yeah, see? <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs>